This is America, also widely recognized as the United States of America, is a country in the Northern Hemisphere which consists of 50 states covering nearly 3.8 million square miles, with a population of over 331 million inhabitants. It's commonly believed that the first occupants of North America showed up at least 12,000 years ago via the Bering Land Bridge. Nevertheless, some research indicates that they arrived even earlier. The Clovis culture, which emerged around 11,000 BC, is thought to be the first wave of permanent habitation in the American continent. The United States emerged from the 13 British colony over taxation and political representation, which led to the American Revolutionary War, which established the nation's independence. That time, Britain was no doubt powerful. It used its wealth, its armies, and its navy to defeat the rival European countries and to conquer local people to establish its empire. It's a country in the northwest Europe that is resident to the capital London, a formidable force, financial, and cultural center. In 1607, King James I of England granted a charter to the Virginia Company of London to colonize the American coast. As Europeans gone beyond exploration and into the colonization of America, they brought virtually every aspect of the land, and the institution of permanent settlers in Britain was also empowered by the sea and the vast wealth of the New World. The country had various motives for colonial expansion. Religious liberty was indeed a big part of it. During that time, church officials were particularly the Pope, the neck of the Catholic Church, grasped more authority than kings or queens. The church had taxing authority, and its regulations had to be obeyed. Those who held opposing views were classified as heretics and could face various forms of punishment, including execution. At that time, Christianity was specially imposed on Native Americans. Since it was mandatory, the British colonial spread resulted in ethnic cultures, even though colonial power frequently gave preference to one ethnic group over another, giving them more rights, power, and wealth. The British North American colonies emerged from the Protestant and Catholic belief that religious standardization must exist in any given culture. This confession was founded on the belief that there was only one true religion and that it was the responsibility of civil authorities to impose it. Once European settlers arrived, they introduced illnesses that natives had never encountered. The natives died of disease that European nations thought were extremely common because they lacked immunity. All of these have the effect of altering Native Americans' lifestyle. Riders and firearms altered their attitudes towards food hunting because their cultural traditions were based on their means of survival, evolving this altered subgroups. Some major groups rerouted. Fights over territories emerged once they started moving. Organization that had initially would have plenty of food now lacked it. Missions were established and Native Americans were vigorously urged to become Christian. Most of the groups has some form of ancestor worship, and the forced religious change altered their cultural identity. Native American suffering and the voice of colonization were present in Phyllis Whitley's poem. His Excellency General Washington has shown how Native Americans encouraged Washington to precede his desire to gain liberty for the colonist, colonists, and she makes argument how the goddess of freedom guides his action. This poem shows how it encourages Washington to fight for Americans' independence. Washington, a crown, a mansion, and a throne that shine, with gold unfading be thine, proves how the British always believe that they are superior to others. British colonization initiatives have been launched in the 1700s with England's failed efforts to establish permanent settlers in the north. In 1607, the first permanent English settlement was founded in Jamestown, Virginia. In 1606, King James I of England conferred the Virginia Company of London a charter to colonize the American coast, which later given the Virginia Company authorization to establish two settlement blocks in the New World. Later, in 1606, multiple boats carrying 120 men and boys set sail for a region of northern known as Virginia. In April 1607, the settlers came at the mouth of a chic space bay. They made the journey 60 miles upstream to start constructing a village. They named it Jamestown after King James I. 
Jamestone settlers faced difficult times. The village was constructed on swampy land, which was a breeding ground for disease. Half of the, half of the settlers were nobles who had no desire to plant crops. They were only looking for gold. They found no gold and soon ran out of, of supplies. Many of them died as a result of starvation or illness. By spring, half of the settlers had died due to various diseases like malaria. The Sheikh Speaks region settlers gradually grew. The majority of these settlers were men, English immigrants, who died shortly after getting there. Even though men outplayed women, eligible women did not remain single forever. The plant is indigenous community community eventually became immune to the Sheik Speaks disease, allowing these colonies to survive despite the hardships. Later in 6, 9 April 1970-75, the American Revolutionary War took place, also known as the American War of Independence. The House of Burgesses, when it first met, was the, the first democratically the representative branch in the British American colonies. Subsequently, after three weeks of non-stop artillery shelling, British General Cornwall relinquished to George Washington at the siege of New York town, where a British army was held captive in the Independence Valley and forced to surrender, effectively ending the American Revolutionary War. Shakespeare play Macbeth dramatized the suffering of British people and the voice of colonization. The harmful physical and psychological effects of the political ambition on those who seek power. It demonstrates the consequences of the, of the British colony and how they are driven to seek power, ultimately leading to, to their political failure. All through this documentary, we have explored the impacts of the British colonization on America and how did it influence Americans socially, environmentally and politically. I genuinely think that Britain was the sole cause of this colonization. All they could have imagined was to break the cycle of poverty, armed conflicts, political chaos, starvation and disease, having faith that colonial life would provide exciting challenges, colonization. Pretty much destroyed the climate by distorting many ecosystems and implementing new organisms while annihilating others. Americans always have been compelled to start imposing Christianity as a religion, getting obligated into a religious practice in which you don't believe is not the right thing to do. It is essentially direct discrimination. The evidence is all enumerated, but I now feel compassion for Native Americans who were forced but treated unfairly in that period of time. Colonization is basically the action or instance of trying to settle between and, between and trying to establish control over a region's indigenous people. Consider what we've said and give us a better understanding of it all. Listen to both sides and then decides in which you hang. Thank you.